Brush installation video for the B1R Micro Brush Speed Control. I'm Ty Campbell, let's get started. First we're going to start by pre-tinning the solder posts. With a clean hot iron, tin the tip, apply heat to the post and feed solder to both post and iron. Try to make this iron to post connection quick, or you could risk desoldering the post causing damage to the internal boards. Repeat this procedure for all the posts. Here's a little Deacon tip. Using a hex wrench, roll the radio wires in a coil fashion around the wrench to keep them short, clean, and out of the way. The same can be done for both the on switch and the servo wires. This will keep the install looking neat, clean, and professional. Now it's time to grab the wire strippers and strip about 3 16 of an inch of the silicone insulation off the wire. Using this technique by cutting, rotating the wire 180 and cutting again makes the cut straight. Twisting the exposed wires like so eliminates rogue strands that can stretch out and touch other wires and possibly cause a short. Now, using a vice or posable clip like this one, we can easily tin the wires. Pre-tin the iron and place it on the exposed wire. Feed solder into the wire until it has flowed completely through all strands. Repeat this for both ends of each piece of wire we are using. A little touch up can be done on wires where the solder didn't completely flow through the wires by simply reapplying the heat and adding a little bit more solder. For the next step, I recommend using a vise to firmly hold the ESC on the table. It will make a huge difference in solder connection quality and acts as a second set of hands so you're not chasing the ESC around with a hot iron. To solder the wires to the post, heat the post first. Heat the wire, then bring them both together and apply more heat from the iron. This will allow the solder to flow easily, it will look better, and the connection will be much stronger. Now we must clean the bottom of the ESC with rubbing alcohol. This will clean off finger oils, ensuring a firm bond between the double stick tape and the case. Doing the same to the car chassis will ensure that the ESC stays in the car, and won't come flying out. Using a hobby knife or scissors, be careful not to cut yourself, cut the double sticky tape to fit the ESC's footprint. You don't want any extra tape sticking out, it'll look ugly under that black case. Peel back the double sided sticky tape. Place the ESC in the desired location on the chassis and firmly press down for 3 seconds. This will ensure that the double sticky tape bonds and adheres itself to the chassis so your ESC stays firmly in one spot. Now that we have the speed controller mounted, cut a piece of double sided sticky tape to fit the on off switch and mount it in a convenient safe location. Normally I like to mount the on off switch on the side of the ESC case so I don't have wires running everywhere and it's a compact little unit. Now that we have everything mounted in the car securely and all of our wires ran in a neat fashion with the coil trick and away from moving parts and drivetrain parts we can decide how much wire we need to use to direct solder the batteries. Awesome, we've installed the B1R successfully in our scalpel. Now quit listening to me and get out there and race. I'm Ty Campbell at Team Teakin. Thanks for watching.